So I was drinking a glass of water the other day and it hit me. I live in the richest county in the entire nation. And it never really struck me as something that irregular because growing up here, I didn't grow up in a mansion. In fact, I actually grew up in Herndon, which is right next door to Loudoun County in Fairfax County, ironically, the second richest county in the nation. But I grew up in a very modest two bedroom, one full bath. We all had to share the full bathroom upstairs and my family has come a long way since then. But regardless of that, I decided to put together a video to show you what the cheapest houses in the richest county in the entire nation look like. And since I'm in real estate, I'm gonna show you the payment breakdown, what it costs to afford for these houses and I'm gonna give you a inside tour of what these houses look like so you yourself can decide whether you can afford or live in the cheapest houses in the richest county in the nation. But to give you some background info about Loudoun County before we start, it was founded in 1757 and there's about 413,000 people in Loudoun County as of 2020. Now, the median household income since 2008 has been ranked the highest in the entire nation at an astonishing $136,000. Now, Loudoun County is known for their beautiful wineries. There's actually a lot of farmland in Loudoun County, ironically. And if you don't know where Loudoun County is, it's right in the heart of Northern Virginia. And if you don't know where Northern Virginia Virginia is, is actually a football field away from the nation's capital. Loudoun County is kind of like the suburbs escape of the city, but nonetheless, I promise you guys some inside tours of what these properties look like and affordability calculations, so hang tight, I'm going to show you just that. So the first property we're going to look at is a two-level condo, and now it's going to be a little bit higher priced than the absolute cheapest house, but I wanted to give you a realistic approach of a house that you could possibly move into if you were looking to come to Loudoun County. This house is priced at $275,000. It's located in Sterling, Virginia, which is actually right next to Fairfax County. It's three bedrooms, it's two and a half bath, and it's about 1,400 square feet. But that's enough of me talking. Let's take a look at what this property looks like. We're here in the very first property, which is listed at 275,000. And what I figured I'd do is walk you through the property, show you some things that I see in the house that I like and things that I don't like, and then give you an idea of what the monthly breakdown is gonna look like, and then we can go from there. So for starting at 275,000, this two level condo is three bedrooms, two full baths. I really do like the arch feature right there it makes it feel like it's uh, a Florida house. This is the kitchen, it's a complete open concept. The cabinets are actually in pretty decent condition. It's got a little balcony out there. And as we go into here, one thing I can't stand is that the laundry is packed away, but what can you expect? This house is actually in really good condition. You even have your little Harry Potter room over here in case you wanna rent that out, $750 a month. The whole house is hardwood and brand new carpet. It smells like it's been freshly painted in here. Let me show you the three bedrooms upstairs. This is gonna be the master bedroom. It's pretty big. I would say it's about 15 by 20 feet. It's two full baths, tiled all the way from floor to ceiling. Walk-in closet. And guys, let me know as I'm walking through here if you would consider living in this house. This is gonna be the shared full bathroom for these two bedrooms over here, which are actually not a bad size. Looks like they replaced the windows. And this is a super tiny bedroom, but what can you expect? So for 275, this is a little bit higher end of a house on our list of homes, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Would you live here? So I just got done touring the property and honestly, it's actually pretty clean. Now I will say it's pretty overpriced for the area. Most of these homes are selling between 250 and 260 for the three bed two full bath combo after running comp, but it is completely renovated. And honestly, because of coronavirus, there's really just nothing on the market. However, at the end of the day, I made this video to show you how cheap it is to live in Loudoun County, the richest county in the nation. And after doing some quick mortgage calculations, looks like it's gonna cost you around $1,888 to live in this three bedroom, two full bath, two level condo. So let me know in the comment section down below if you think that's a good deal, or if you think that's overpriced compared to where you're living right now. So for some reason when I was making this video in my head, it came out to be like a lot more interesting than the way I fit this content together. But I try to keep it as realistic as possible for the editing, for me going out to the properties, gives me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I hope you enjoyed that one. But again, that's gonna be on the higher end expensive side of Loudoun County. Oh, and by the way, in case you didn't notice from the last payment estimate, I'm using the mortgage calculator off Zillow. I'm putting it down as a generic 5% down payment. I'm keeping the PMI, which is the private mortgage insurance calculator 
calculator, all the same. I'm putting all the homeowner's insurance at $750. And to keep it as accurate as possible, I'm plugging in exactly how much the taxes are each year and exactly how much the HOA or condo fee is for every single property to keep it consistent and as accurate as possible for you. All right, so most of the houses that I've been showing you so far have been condos. So this is gonna be the cheapest single family house, I should say, in Loudoun County. I'm gonna turn around and give you a tour of the property and you can let me know what you think. All right, so this is the house. It is super tiny. It is a one bedroom, one bath, single family house. It's about 800 or 900 square feet, I think. All of the hardwood is super, super old. Looks like they replaced all of the windows. They try to modernize it, but I'm telling you, I don't know if you can tell on this video, this is the smallest house. This is gonna be the master bathroom. The only bathroom. So I guess it would be called the master bathroom. I've never seen carpet in a bathroom before, but I guess there's a first for everything. You have a heat lamp in there. It's pretty cool. And naturally, the master carpeted bathroom leads to the kitchen, which is not an open concept at all. Guys, this house was built in 1910. And it looks like the washer and dryer were designed in 1850. Got a nice deck with a backyard, super tiny lot. And you can basically high five your neighbor if you look to the left. Hey guys, I wish I had more to show you. That's literally the house. You could walk across it in two and a half seconds. It's super tiny. So let me know what you think in the comment section below if you would live in this house for 279000 the next house we're gonna look at is gonna be one of the cheaper properties. Now this condo is completely move-in ready if your definition of move-in ready means things need to be updated a lot. It's extremely small. It's a two bedroom, two bath, 900 square foot condo, and it is priced at 229,000. But anyways, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. In this kitchen, all the cabinets are original. All the appliances are probably near original. The house has been on the market forever. You can see how many agents have shown it. But the nice thing is you at least get your own private laundry room over here. And this is the first full bath. It's a simple walk-in shower. It looks like they updated the vanity. And you have bedroom number one. It's kind of creepy though, because you can see the cars and everyone parked right over there. This is gonna be the master bedroom right here. All the carpet is in decent shape. It's a really tiny one level condo. You have two closets over here. And then you have your full bath for the master. Nice and clean, tidied up. So that's pretty much it. It was a super short tour. I mean, the place is super tiny, but let me know what you guys think. After the payment, after taxes, after everything, even the condo fee, the payment comes to 1610. You know, taking into consideration that you would probably be able to move into this property, even though it is outdated and it needs a deep clean because the carpets are not original, but you could realistically move into this apartment without being completely disgusted or not having any electric or anything like that. Definitely needs to coat of paint as well in some spots. So I tried to stay as realistic as possible with this, but let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about this property and if you would live in here for $1,610. And one of the last houses we're gonna take a look at is a very tiny condo in the back end of Leesburg. I will tell you, it was not in the best neighborhood, quote unquote, that you could find in Loudoun County, but it was the absolute cheapest re piece of real estate that I you could actually move in. Not that you probably would want to, because I'm telling you, as I was walking through this place, oh my God, once you walked into the condo building, it was just units on top of units, so tiny, people's doors were open, the whole place smelled like basically diapers. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you the cheapest real estate in Loudoun County, which is the richest county in the nation. So you're about to see just that. Okay, so I did a little bit more digging online and I found the absolute cheapest condo in Loudoun County. It's priced at 169,000. Now, these particular units are extremely small. They're about 800 square feet. They're one bed, one full bath. And the condo fee is actually relatively low at I think around two or $300. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this property. One thing I will say though, this property is definitely what you would call the ghetto. So keep in mind that the hallways are smelling like rats and everything is disgusting. This unit just happened to be completely fixed up. So we got lucky here. So as soon as you walk in, you got carpet and they painted the entire house gray. The windows are basically leading right to the front where the cars park. And this is the kitchen right here. <laughs> they retiled it. Looks like they painted the cabinets. They actually did a really good job because this particular unit smells good, but the rest of the apartment complexes smell 
awful. This is your full bath right here. They got it all nice and staged. And then there's not a lot of light in this room because there's no lights in it, but we got a full bedroom right here with two closets. And I would say it's about the size of a bedroom that you would give to probably a two-year-old. And what fun would this video be if I didn't show you a complete dump in the richest county in the nation? This is gonna be the only townhouse. Now this house is kind of funny to tour. It's a HUD property, which for those of you that don't know, it's basically a government owned property that uh, foreclosed upon. The people basically just ripped out everything and left. The house is completely trashed, but I wanted to have a little bit of fun with this video and, and show you some of the completely destroyed properties in the richest county in the nation. So I hope you guys enjoy. 66 Adams Drive, Northeast Leesburg. Let's go check it out. We have a beautiful front lawn over here. This is the neighbor's house. This is where the roosters fight. Come on in. Welcome to Paradise. So what's the front door? Hello. So they had to uh, literally bolt. If you want to take a look at that. Literally bolt a lock to it so that nobody could. All right, so this is our first property and it's um, it's beautiful. You can see that you have an amazing front lawn, boarded up windows, and you can hear the, the ambulance in the background. As soon as you walk in, you got some broken glass over here. Leesburg, it's in Northeast Leesburg. It is priced at 195,000. It's a HUD home, as you saw before. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. I believe these are condos, but they're basically townhouse style condos. Obviously a fixer upper, but let's take a look at it nonetheless and see if it's worth the price it is. You have a beautiful walk-in closet with no doors. Half bath right there. There's no light in HUD homes. The, uh, they take off all the electric. But um, let's take a look at the kitchen over here. Amazing listing packet, professional listing. You can see it was just listed, 195,000. It's 1,176. The paint is in terrible condition. I will tell you though, there's no fridge. Ooh, it smells weird. Oh my God. I don't know if that's like some type of mold, but this place is disgusting. It smells so bad. Oh, there is a fridge. That's where the stove goes. I don't even know how I didn't see that. Coming in here, you got the water heater, got a furnace. All right, let's go check out upstairs and see what the deal is. So it looks like carpeting all on the upstairs level. This house definitely needs some paint and some new carpeting for sure. All the vents need to be changed. But let's check out the master bedroom. Beautiful, lots of natural light. <laughs> it looks like at one point, ooh, that's mold right there. It looks like at one point the uh, drywall seam was ripping so they just duct taped the top. You gotta love that. Windows are all original. For sure, you can almost like punch through that. Only full bath in the whole house. Oh man, I'm gonna have to put my shirt on. So it's just the tub and yeah, that's a beautiful site right there. 